So how do you mulch your trees after you plant them? And how do you protect them from deer, rabbits, bulls? 75,000 different answers and questions there. If you're going to be doing a small number of trees, less than 100 or so, go ahead and mulch them. Uh, sometimes when we've done larger plantings of trees in the thousands, we've used um, uh, black plastic mulch, we've used landscape fabric, the, uh, the woven you know, geotextile landscape fabric, and uh, you can plant the trees first with mechanical transplanter, then you can lay the mulch over the top, and every time you see a bulge, there's a little tree there, you cut a little X, pull it around the tree. That works pretty good, but once you start planting uh, lots of trees, it's, it's impossible to mulch, really, unless you go out and buy a, a, a mulch dispenser machine, which they make. Uh, the Holland Equipment Company, I know, makes a pretty good mulch uh, applicator that you put whatever the mulch is, whether it's chips or pine needles or hay, and it spits it out a little shoot right alongside your trees. I've never used those. We've never needed to use those. Um, as long as the plants have adequate water and uh, sunlight, they'll do okay. So when we plant trees, we'll plant right into an old field, mechanically tra transplant the trees, mow on either side, you'll have about this much weeds and grass wherever your trees are. So there's getting light from the side, your trees are able to spend, send their roots out and get water, and if it's a drought year, or if you're in an area that has a long period of, of hot, dry summers, Texas and Oklahoma, for example, run some drip tape. My favorite kind of drip tape, <clears throat> I don't often uh, recommend products, but tea tape is very inexpensive. It's like less than 200 bucks for 4,000 feet worth of tree ta tea tape, and uh, it can be um, uh, gravity fed from a tank on the back of a pickup truck or a, a hay wagon. And so that's uh, then deer. If you want to deer, deal with deer, if you're in an area with super, super high deer uh, pressures, you may want to use uh, tree shelters and treeprotection.org or treeprotection.com, I believe, is one place that I like to go to because it's a nonprofit organization that does conservation projects that they uh, get the tree tubes donated to them by the manufacturers. And so typically they can get you tree tubes for less than what the manufacturer can because they're, you know, they're, um, they've got donated product and it helps to them to do other uh, conservation projects around the countryside. <clears throat> if you have fewer trees and you can actually deal with it, uh, take a dozen of eggs, open up the, the, the case, the carton, throw it in the bottom of a five gallon bucket so they all smash. Then you fill the five gallon bucket full of water, stir it up, and then uh, splash that egg water onto uh, your young trees. And the deer, somehow, either they can't smell your trees, or they don't like the smell or the taste of the eggs. It doesn't have to be rotten or anything like that. Uh, that's probably the least expensive alternative to taking care of deer. But on a larger project, how you deal with deer and other predators, rabbits and mice, etc. Uh, mice and rabbits, it's primarily uh, habitat control, and as long as you keep the alleys between the trees mowed or grazed, uh, there will be less rodent habitat. And uh, what we can also do is grab um, a, just a, you know, a tree, a dead tree or a pole or whatever, and drill a hole in the ground and stand up these 30-foot sticks you know, every couple hundred feet throughout your tree planting. So now you have hawk roosts and owl roosts, so you have hawks and owls. Um, after your rabbits and mice 24-7. But the biggest thing for uh, animal control is numbers. If you plant um, 10 sweet corn plants in your backyard in the suburbs, the raccoons are going to find it and they're going to eat every single last ear of sweet corn. If you go plant 10 acres of sweet corn, the raccoons may get the 10 rows on the outside and now you only have 9 acres of sweet corn. Uh, if you plant 100 acres of sweet corn, the few rows that they get on the outside are minimal, and you now have you know 90 to 100 plus acres on the inside. Sheer numbers is what will actually win in the game to to overcome um, the early year establishment pressure from from rodents, um, lagomorphs, and deer.